Hello, and welcome back to Bearing in Mind Beer Reviews. Uh, today, a change of pace, uh, we're going to take a look at uh, four different beers from Shimei. So this will be the, this will be the first uh, non-Japanese beers that we've looked at. And we're going to look at four beers in turn. First of all, the three mainstay ones, and then the fourth beer, which they introduced. Um, and Shimei, the first one we're going to look at, and that will be today, is uh, Shimei Red, or Rouge, or Brun, as you can see here, uh, Brown Ale. And uh, the second one will be Shimei White, which is considered a, uh, actually a triple. And then the following beer will be the Granddaddy, which is the Blue, which is probably could be considered a, a triple or a quad. Um, and then the fourth one we will look at uh, one which was introduced not too long ago uh, uh, and it's called Shimei Dore. It's really a blonde ale. It's much lighter. Uh, and so, first of all, Shimei is a, it's one of the uh, six or, or seven Trappist breweries that uh, produce beer. And the Trappists are the only Catholic order that uh, do produce, so that brew and produce beer. Um, and they have been doing this since the Middle Ages uh, when they were really producing a product to uh, provide healthy drinking material for, for the public when, in, in times when water was not really a safe drink uh, and beer was. And it's also nutritious, of course, as well. Shimei is definitely the most widely recognized and, I would say, easily available uh, Belgian or Trappist ale uh, in, in the world. You can find it almost anywhere in, in supermarkets, um, for sure. And as we'll see when we look at this, this is the only uh, Trappist ale that is actually available on tap in many places. Shimei White is available on tap in some places as well. So it's all basically uh, bottled beer. Um, and Shimei is, uh, they have their own wells, uh, so they have their own water. Uh, it's a kind of soft water with a, a touch of acidity, and this water helps give it a, a definite house character, uh, along with their house yeast, which they developed in the uh, 1940s and 50s. Uh, and uh, so the Shimei beers all have a, a similar quality that, you know, is definitely recognizable. Um, they also use uh, German hops and surprisingly American hops as well. Uh, so the German hops they use are Holler Tower hops. Um, and one unusual thing is they, it's kind of non-traditional, they use not whole hops but extract. Um, and in fact they do use some malt extract but just a tiny amount, uh, as they say, for coloring purposes. So uh, this is kind of non-traditional. It makes them, uh, sets them off a bit from, from uh, other Belgian brewers or Trappist brewers. They use uh, winter barley as well. Uh, so yeah, they do have a common character for them, for them all. Um, and we're going to now take a quick look at the Shimei Red or Brune. Uh, and this is a 7% beer, actually 7.1%. And this beer has 3,833 ratings currently on Rate Beer uh, for an average rating of 3.77 out of 5, which is pretty, pretty high. Um, and a 97 percentile rating for all beers. And for its style, it has a 99% rating, which is pretty, pretty good. So we would call this a, a brown ale and, and, or a double or double uh, in Belgian terms. Okay, so uh, just about ready. I've got my, go get my glass. <clears throat> okay, so I have a, uh, what's called a chalice here, and this is an Orval glass, and Orval is one of the other uh, 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 Trappist brewers, and uh, so unfortunately I do not have a Shimei glass, I used to, uh, but we'll use this to pour in the, uh, the red double here. 
Let's open her up and see what we get. So this pours out kind of a, a somewhat of a cloudy brown with a rather large uh, off-white kind of rocky bubbly head uh, centimeter or two of that and in the nose we get definitely yeast right away uh, kind of fruity maltiness and caramel brown sugar definitely dark fruit very rich kind of aroma Initial flavor seems somewhat balanced between the malt and hops. Uh, kind of a tart fruitiness in mid palate. A lot of the, let's say some spicy raisins and, and cherries. Uh, finish is smooth and sweet. Uh, just a light touch of Acidity, maybe, maybe something in the back back of the uh, tongue here. Body is, I would say, thin, medium. I want to say it has some astringency, but I think that probably is just acidity in the uh, finish there. So overall, this is a very pleasant beer. Um, I don't think it's the best of the Chimay's. Uh, for sure, uh, but it's a good, pleasant, regular, regular beer. Very well made, very solid. Um, and in spite of using extract, I think we get all the uh, full flavors that we want here. So, again, Shime Brune, Shime Red, which is Brune Brown Ale, seven percent. Okay, you find this just about anywhere you want to look for beer. All right, please enjoy it sometimes. That's it for today. Bye-bye.